Hey guys, this is JP. I just want to show you what I got in the mail today. Oh, my red iguana that came in from Florida Herps. They've got really good reviews for the reptiles, so I decided to order it from them. Um, I just want to show you how it's going to look right now. This is actually the first reptile I ordered online. I'm a little mad though because my driver for FedEx actually gave my reptile to my neighbor you get what i'm saying that's weird like why the fuck would he give him my reptile and then on the top if you don't know it's actually deadly for an iguana to be upside down because their heart stops and like i won't blame my neighbor that didn't know that i'm gonna blame fedex but my neighbor didn't know so he had it upside down you know, he didn't expect to even get an iguana today. So it's like, I'm about to call him and it's ridiculous. But anyway, I wanted to show you and hopefully he's still alive. I'm pretty excited though. Like I couldn't sleep at all last night because I was, I was waiting for this. So here, let me open it up. Sorry, I haven't got a camera yet, so... Well, that's why my videos come back with you know. So excited. First time I had one. I don't know if you can see that styrofoam. Got like a core packet, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> nope, he's alive. Hallelujah. It would have sucked, you know. It would have sucked for my first experience. My iguana's dead. Let me show you how he looks. Sorry, little guy. He has a green stomach and he's pretty red on top, actually. He's trying to push through the little bag. Um, I'm not going to hold him for too long because I need to, I'm going to go put him in his cage so he can relax. I could, uh, sorry, you can't really see him from in there. Hold on. His nails are like digging through. He actually looks really healthy, pretty active. I think it's because, um, I think when the box was upside down, he just lifted himself right side up. I don't know. So. I'm pretty happy about that. He didn't die a horrible death inside the box. So I don't know what I'm gonna call him yet. That's what I've been trying to figure out. But I thought I was gonna call him Ichi because he had a that's Japanese for strawberry. You know, because he's gonna turn red. So it's like, oh, you know, green, strawberry, red, you know, whatever. But anyway, he seems pretty chill. Maybe he just uh was regaining his conscience from sitting upside down or laying upside down. Good thing I'm glad I was able to grab him in time before he died. He actually has really cool pattern marks. Sorry, little guy. Sorry, nameless. Trying to... Here, let me let me help you out here. Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying. To... Here, let me grab the paper. Actually, let me let help you. Then I'm gonna fold him outside. There he is. He's a pretty good size. I don't know what to name you. Come on, nameless. Toothless. Wow. Looks really sleek. Well, this is my first iguana, but he looks really nice. I like that pattern. Look, there he is. I heard iguanas are supposed to be really, really active when you first get them. That's how you know they're safe or healthy. This one just seems really chill. Maybe he's sick. If he dies in the next seven days, I know who to call. Oh, he's so pretty. So pretty. I had his cage warming up last night. 
so that way you know when he gets here it'll be a perfect temperature um, I'm gonna make a separate video showing you how he looks inside his cage and everything that's a really one so and yeah I was hoping to have everything set up but let you know have his water done and shit Yeah, it's really nice though. Check that out. I got them from Florida Herps. I suggest you check them out. I'll do an update video showing how he is and how he's feeling. I don't know if it's totally supposed to be like that, but yeah. Um, everything's set up. I'm gonna make that part two soon. And yeah. Say so, hey, welcome to your new home. Alright. Later.